Alright, welcome to KSP. Today we're going to loft this monstrosity into orbit. Uh, about a 90 kilometer orbit is what we're shooting for, and we're going to do it in IVA mode. What you're seeing here is the asset Mark 1-2 pod modification. This adds a uh, raster prop monitor type look to everything, and so we have all sorts of gauges and buttons we can press. Like, let's turn the cabin lights on. So I got some enunciators for ground proximity and stuff. I got an abort button I can press if I want. I can even do uh, recover the, the capsule and the crew if I need to. This is all MechJeb stuff, which it doesn't recognize that MechJeb is actually installed, but I have MechJeb 2, which I'm not going to use. Uh, so what do I got to do to do orbit? I got to do, nope, nope, I want this one. And then I'll turn on apoapsis time. That's periapsis time. So we want apoapsis time. Not a number because I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so what else do I want here? I want resources. Where's resources? There we go. Total resources. I'll flip over to the other seat here. And I can do... No, not that one. So many buttons! So I'll do the... Maybe we'll do the orbital display here. And I'll do cameras. I have external cameras. So I can look down at the spacecraft to see the ground falling away. I got a couple cameras that face down. I think I'll do this one. I got one that points up. So yeah, it's, it's a mess, but um, it's actually quite fun. So let's do ship and we'll do crew. So everyone's just kind of sedate and oh wow, I got a I got a cool pilot here. Is he a pilot or is he just whatevered? So I got action groups here. I think if you label them in your um, dialogue, it'll actually spit stuff out. These actually work. I can actually not that one, but I can tell which power generator is giving me output. So right now I'm making about 14 units of power right now. I can deploy my solar panels from that. It says generator active because I do have uh, RTGs. Oops, wrong button. And I guess this idiot here is just, uh, he's just a boring engineer here. So yeah, I think if you click this, you actually start EVAing. Or is it this? I think this, you, uh, you EVA. But we, wanna, we don't want to do that. We want to actually like, go for a ride. So this is going to be completely IVA mode. I've just hit F2 and turned off my display, so we want to do 100%. And I want to... There, I just released the clamps, and I'm going. So it tells me my uh, my thrust to weight ratio here. Oh yeah, SAS might be good. Uh, almost forgot that. That would have been bad. So as I'm losing fuel weight aggressively, I my my thrust to weight ratio is going up. And unfortunately, I don't see. Oh yeah, I need to hit stage. Well, that's a mess. So I'm gonna start healing over now a little bit. Now that I'm going. This thing has a low thrust to weight ratio once our first stage boosters run out. Okay, settling down. Once I get lined up with my prograde marker, I'll hit chase prograde. And this thing will write itself up pretty well. I'll back up a little bit on my throttle. Okay, stage. Full throttle, go! As you can see, we're barely keeping up with gravity right now. In fact, hopefully I have turned enough. Now we can see our camera here. Okay, see it's falling away. And I'm sure hoping this works. Right now I'm 36 seconds ahead of apoapsis. Or behind apoapsis. And it's just barely keeping up. Oh, a little bit more. So we're going to run these engines pretty much all the way up. And hopefully it's enough to get me into space. 
So yeah, once I lose my first stage boosters, just the, the, the core is not adequate to keep this thing going very well. And it gets even worse once I lose the the second stage. 20 kilometers up. We're just crossing a 45 degree angle. We see that there's black sky there. We're just riding these markers. Alright, so now my apoapsis time is beginning to slowly uh, head up. So that's good. My apoapsis is still kind of low. But that's alright. Somehow it thinks I'm a space station. I guess because all the stuff I have on this thing, but that's alright. So now we're just crossing, sorry, 1.6 G's. So now that apoapsis time is beginning to finally pull away some. Let me say we backed it off just a little bit. I think we'll be okay. I think we're doing all right. Packing off a little more. So yeah, it shows you a bunch of stuff like my 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 propellant mass. It shows me a couple other little things on here. How much fuel I got left in the tanks. It shows me how deep I am in atmosphere. Mach number, terminal velocity. We're almost at atmosphere entirely now. In fact, I could probably back off a little more. Yeah, we can back off some. 50% throttle. And our apoapsis is just about cleared atmosphere. So we'll ride that a little bit further. I don't see flames on the shrouds, so that means we're not going terribly fast which is good. It's kind of immersive like this. I, I really like it. It's a cool, uh, cool set of mods. RPM asset props. The asset mod for the Mark 1-2 capsule. I have a lot of near-future spacecraft stuff, some uh, KW rocketry, some A's for some parts. Oh, that's it. Alright, so now we've just killed thrust. And I think the one thing I have to escape out of here to do is I have to go like this. Oops. I need to deploy that. We can go back and hide that and go back inside our spacecraft because I have that actually set to a stage, but I'm, I'm hitting it a bit early. All right. So now what I want to do? I don't want to deploy the solar panels left because my boosters are still in the way. Which I can see if I do external cameras. I can go. Yeah, the, the solar panels are down here, right on the. They're kind of hidden right here. These things. Those are solar panels. And so the nose cones are going to be in the way. So I can actually tilt and pan and see that, yep, those solar panels are just sitting there and they'll bang into these nose cones. Well, I don't want that to happen, so we're not going to hit that just yet. Time to apoapsis, 1 minute 43 seconds. I got time. We're coasting at this point. Still holding prograde. It says I got 18% of the fuel remaining left in these side boosters, which I can go ahead and verify that. I can go like this and say, that ain't no 18%. <laughs> so yeah, big, beefy, the Griffin triple at double X units. These are almost out. That ain't no 18%, guys, just saying. But uh, whatever. When we get to 30 seconds, we're gonna power up again and uh, get this orbit going which takes some time. If I had Vessel Viewer, I could go ahead and activate everything from inside the cockpit. Or if I remember what my action group keys were, which I don't. So once I get in orbit, I have to go external and turn stuff on. I think that's some space doggies. 
So yeah, they got food in here, snacks, all important snacks. Snacks are important. I can't click that. Okay, I guess I'm too far away to click that. Alright, so let's go. Oh yeah, we're seeing some heavy G's now. When I see this drop, that means we ran out of that stage. Perhaps this time or altitude is still. Um, there we go. All right, so that's orbit. It's kind of messy. I should actually get to Apoapsis and then I'll uh, round this out a little bit. But let's hop out here to our spacecraft and have a look see around. So let's hit action group one, two. That doesn't do anything. All right. Let's get some solars, and we'll get some radiators going. So it's not a complete total IVA flight. I have to do this out here since I forgot to reset my action groups, but that's okay. The hard part was done all, all in IVA mode. This is just the icing on the cake now at this point. So now we're all the spacecraft, so it's pretty much facing the way it's supposed to be, and then we'll fast forward to kill the roll. And then we can hit the lights. And then I can turn on some gribbles, like I can activate the scanner. And then I can deploy that scanner. I got all sorts of gribbles and details on this thing. We can turn that dish on. There's another one somewhere. Yeah, right here. This little guy. Turn you on. There's a dish right here. Activate. We'll turn that light off because it's kind of bright. That's not even all of it. I got more back here. So these are engines. These are magnetohydrodynamic plasma engines. I think I'm saying it right. Magnetoplasma <laughs> It's kind of a mouthful to say. You're like, what is this thing? It's basically an ion thruster on steroids, and it doesn't run on gas, it runs off lithium. It's pretty cool. So I need all these radiators because these are reactors that are cold iron right now. And let's go back inside our cockpit. So yeah, there we go. Uh, let's get to... Ab I suppose I can just leave it like this. We are technically in orbit, so now I want to say I want to lock stages so I don't accidentally like, blow stuff off. And then I can save the engines, and now I can go full throttle, go! Nothing happens! Kill the throttle, full throttle! We have it a bunch of times, it doesn't matter, it's it's done. So that's a nice feature. It tells you how much thermal protection uh, ablative you have, your atmosphere figures. I'll say making good power now. No alternator power, engines aren't turning. My fill cell's not on. I get a lot of array power. I get six paltry units from RTGs. So I'm curious now if I go ahead and turn on this little guy and I put it way down to like 30% power. What's it going to tell me now? Oh, it's sneaking up some. What's it count as? Solar array power? That doesn't make any sense. It says I'm making seven power a second. The reason why I have those little radiator or little I have two, one right here and one right here, is in case I'm transiting the dark side of a planet, the solar panels are worthless. And these little RTGs here, they only make a little bit of power. It's not enough to keep everything alive. So I said, yeah, let me get some little a little uh tiny fusion or fission reactor so I can keep the spacecraft running. So now it says um, at 31% power setting it's going to run for a very long time. You can turn it up and say yeah it'll run for like 10 years but I guess when you say I guess like more than that it's like yeah it's a long time. So I can set the other one on too while I'm at it. And say toggle or start you can do reactor control and it allows you to see all your reactors that you have. So I have 
little itty bitty generators. And then I have these really big beefy radiators, which are right here. These are what's needed to power the MHD thrusters. They take up so much electricity. Which is why this big thing right here is just a gigantic battery bank. Dak is a sink for electricity. So yeah, it's pretty, it does nowhere, it does nothing, it goes nowhere, it does nothing. It just looks cool. So that's it, that's an IVA only flight with our Intrepid crew. So I got, uh, can't tell what you are down there. Nope, I don't know what you are. Oh yeah, that's what I should try. I should try to, um, can I, can I do that? Oh, I can't do the hatch. That'd be pretty cool if I could. I think that, oh, scientist is there. My engineer is sitting in the pilot seat. That doesn't make any sense. I should, they're, they're sitting backwards. Anyway. Uh, yeah, camera got a little screwed up there, but anyway, that was IVA to orbit in with mods because mods make it so much nicer to do this. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. You all have a good day.